And now I'm ready to bring in that last part, the slide. I'll drag the slide in and we'd like to align this cylinder with this cylinder. Now let's look at this from the right view. We see that that is not correct. It's a little bit off there. Now if I go to mate, I can't mate this face with this face because this geometry here is in the way there. So what I need to do is I can still select that face. I'll say I'd like to mate this face. I need to go to this little option here and say, look, just have it float at any distance. And now I can come out and say I'd like to mate to either one of these. It's just going to be planar to that. If I look at it from the right view now, now it's squared up just the way I want it. And now the last thing I need to do, I'll go back to the select button to clear everything. Go to the tangent option. I'd like this cylindrical face to be tangent to this face. And that should pull that into where it needs to go. Let's look at another small detail that doesn't seem right on this slide part. I'll just open that. If I zoom in here. Let's see, the first thing is, see, this looks bumpy, faceted. So I can improve that by simply going to Sharpen, Sharpen Set. If I change it to the lowest one, watch what happens. It's much more bumpy. Now if I go back here and change it Sharpen Set to Finer Display, it's a lot smoother. Now let's look at this from the front view and zoom in. Now it doesn't look like the wall thickness is the same. Now if I went and added a line here on this face and just double check, if this was drawn correctly, this would be the same. This line here, 2.12, and this is 1.59. And so the way we fix that, let's fit this view. And I'll just zoom in for a better orientation here. What I can do is go up here to concentric and say I would like this face or the outer face first. And I'll hesitate here and pick up that outer face. I'd like this outer face, green check mark, to be concentric with this inside face. And see how that straightens that up? And so now, if I go back and look at this from the front view, zoom in, that's the way I want it. And you'll see this end also got straightened out because the design intent was on. And if I add a motor then, on this piece, around the axis, let's go the opposite direction, hit finish and play, select OK and that should run.